So I'm standing here with Simeon Jankov, the keynote speaker, and I was just asking him what his expectations are for today and what he hopes to learn from the panel debate. The main uh, goal for me uh, in terms of the debate today is to learn what Dane's view is on many of his topics. That, uh, we've heard the view from Brussels, we've heard the view from London, we've heard the view from Eastern Europe. Uh, but uh, the Danish view is not so widely discussed across Europe, so I hope that uh, some of the discussion will focus on that. Okay, so Denmark is a relatively small country, both in size and economics. So do you think that the Danish way can contribute to the overall economic state of the, of the, of the world? Could other countries learn from Denmark or are they simply too small? No, being small doesn't uh, make it difficult to bring good uh, practice and then contribute to that growth. Many of the good examples actually um, since uh, they it's easier to do big reforms. So actually I think you can learn a lot from Denmark. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. See you inside. Thank you. Sorry, I was <laughs> about to sneeze the whole time. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Just go over here. Thank you. Okay. So once again, welcome to Aarhus. Welcome to Beautiful sunny Aarhus, we're here at the Europe's Growth Challenge event hosted by FACA and Aarhus Business School. So basically this event is organized by volunteer students from the student association called FACA. FACA is a, an, a student association where we try to link our members with business partners to say and to show people that there is actually a world outside of these yellow buildings, outside of the university. Currently we have 1500 members all over the university with different study lines. We are collaborating with 18 top tier partners to try and link again, as I said, these members to the partners and to show them what they can actually do in the real world. And we're also hosting this together with Aarhus BSS, which is one of the four main faculties of Aarhus University, a triple crown accredited business school, with more than 16,000 16, students. So, to help us host this event today, we also have some partners and sponsors that we would like to thank. First of all, we have Tubo Fonten, we have Anna Hill, Rolf Benz, Mercedes Benz, the Department of Economics, and also Tubo Research Center. So now our next contestant or our next guy is arriving. So let's see if we can see who it is. It is Bo Sandemann Rasmussen. Maybe we should also hear a word from him. So Bo, do we have time for a short interview? So, Bo, thank you for coming. What do you hope to learn from this panel debate, from this event? It'll be interesting to hear about uh, Simon's view on uh, how we can increase growth in Europe, because it's been a long time since we had significant growth uh, in the EU area. So, uh, hoping to hear some good points on, on what should be done. Yeah, and Simon also said that he hoped to learn something about the Danish way because it's a small country and you're not, we're not heard that much in, in the economic debate. So do you think that Denmark has anything to teach a guy like Simeon on how to do economics? I know he is uh, very much concerned about a kind of fiscal consolidation and that Denmark really has uh, good, done a good job in the, in the past uh, five or six years. So I'm quite sure that what we've done here could be copied in other European countries and that could help also establish growth in Europe. Thank you very much, Bo. Thank you. So that was Bo Sandemann Rasmussen. I don't know if we have any more participants arriving, but let's wait and see if there are some. So, just random students, I think. Hmm. Maybe not. So maybe I should tell you a bit about today's event. So basically the event today will be on Europe's growth challenges. It's going to be put into four different parts. So first of all, we have Simeon Jankov hosting a public lecture for around 450 students. Then we'll have a short break. And afterwards, we're going to have a panel debate where Simeon Jankov is going to debate Europe's growth challenges with other panel debatees who are Bo Sandemann Rasmussen, as we just met, also Philip Schroeder, professor in economics, and Clemens Jata, senior partner of McKinsey and Company. And to host the debate, we have Bjarke Müller, who is director of the think tank Europe. And now I can see we have more participants arriving.
and it is Philip Schroeder. Philip, do we have time for a short interview? So, Philip, welcome. What do you expect to learn from this event? Well, I think that what, what Simeon has brought for us is a, is a new diagnosis of what is wrong in Europe. Mm. Uh, and I'm, I'm very much looking forward to hearing his remedy, because it's one thing to prove that the European model is sort of failing. It's a very different story to find out what to do about it. Mm. And I'm, I'm curious to challenge him on some of the ideas he has for what we should do going forward and securing that Europe still is on a growth path. Do you think he can learn something from Denmark, a relatively small country, Well, I've, I've looked into some of Simon's research material and what he does actually, he takes a lot of the European models from Scandinavia, also from the Baltic countries and sort of asks which elements appear to work well and could we sort of scale them for Europe. And in that respect, I think uh, Simon has, has uh, learned a bit from the Scandinavian model. But again, I think uh, some of us in the panel will challenge him on if he understood everything right or if it can actually be scaled in the European context. Because having seen a couple of European countries and lived in a couple of European countries, it's for me not obvious that you can use what worked in Estonia and just imply that it also works in Germany. Okay. Thank you so much, Philip. You're welcome. So now we only need the last panel debater to arrive, Clemens Jata. So while we're waiting for him, I'm just briefly going to tell you about who the guys that we are meeting actually are. So leading the panel debate, we have Bjarke Müller. And Bjarke, as I told you, is the executive director of the Think Tank Europe, and he's also a leading Danish journalist. Furthermore, he is an active participant in public debates concerning European issues. He's also a former editor-in-chief of the uh, newspaper Manda Morn, and he holds an executive leadership degree from Columbia University and the Graduate School of Journalism. Furthermore, on the panel, we also have Simon, as we also have met, who is a professor at LSE and also at Harvard University. He is the former vice prime minister and the Ministry of Finance in Bulgaria, and he's also been the former chief economist and vice president of the World Bank. He holds a PhD in economics from the University of Michigan. We hope that he can provide the holistic perspective on this discussion and that he can, from his American and uh, from his point of view in America, Bulgaria and also in London can provide some overview of the challenges that Europe are facing within growth. Furthermore, as we just saw, we have Philip Schroeder, who is a professor at Aarhus BSS at Aarhus University. He is also a board member of the Danish Competition and Consumer Committee. He's a former board member of the Danish Productivity Committee. So Philip has worked a lot with productivity and how to create more productivity in the Danish economy. Furthermore, he holds a PhD in economics from all spaces. We also have Clemens Jata, where we are actually waiting for at the moment. He is a senior partner and director at McKinsey and Company. He is a member of McKinsey and Company's European Leadership of Business and Technology Practice, and he is a global advisor to clients in the area of digital strategy and disruptive technologies. Clemens is going to take over the spot that was actually for Bjarne Corridon, but he had unfortunately he had to cancel showing up at this event. So Clemens will take his place. And finally, we have a guy we also met, Bo Sandeman Rasmussen. Bo is also a professor at Aarhus BSS, Aarhus University. He is a former board member of the Danish Competition and Consumer Authority, and he is a former board member of the Danish Tax Commission. He also hosts holds a PhD in economics from Aarhus University. And now we have the final panel DBT arriving, I think. Or at least I see a car. Hmm. Hmm. But they look a bit empty. So let me just hear. Tor! Hansen, do we have anyone left? Okay. And now we have Jens Ries arriving, but uh, let's move inside and see if we can talk to some of the participants about the event today.
Well, let's see. It looks like all the participants have already sat down at their chairs, so maybe we should just switch to the other camera and let the show begin. <laughs> 